Hey guys, so I originally wasn't gonna vlog today, but it's my first snow day ever and I kind of want to just keep this on film. It's like around 11 o'clock-ish. Originally, I woke up at 1, like 40 in the morning because my mom got me up because all of the dogs are barking and she's like, I don't think you're gonna be going to school tomorrow because the snow is crazy. And then I woke up at four in the morning because my mom woke me up and is like, yeah, your school just called at four in the morning saying you're not having school today. I've never had a snow day in my entire life. We've gotten snow like here and there, but it's like never stuck or anything. So last night my mom and I were <laughs> out in the snow and all of our neighbors and all the kids were out there screaming and everything. So we went to go check and see like what's going on. So we got our sleds out and we're like sledding down the driveway and whatnot. I look kind of like a mess because I haven't gotten ready. I've just been reading all day and our power went out this morning so it just got turned back on that's why I'm vlogging right now while my phone is plugged in so I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to vlog because I need to save my battery in case like it goes out again I have a presentation tomorrow I have to work on and I also have a math test that my teacher was gone for literally an entire week that we were learning this chapter so no one knows what's going on and we're still having a test on it even though I literally have no idea how to do this math chapter at all so I have to basically teach myself math today. I was supposed to have an English test on Acts 1 and 2 of Hamlet today, but obviously that didn't happen. Since I have next week off, everyone's piling everything on this week and it's so overwhelming. So I don't know when this is gonna be up, but I haven't gotten ready today at all. As you can see, I'm literally wearing my pajamas right now and I haven't like brushed my hair or anything. All I've done today is put my contacts in. I don't own snow clothes because snow was never a thing I've had to deal with. I've been reading Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow, but it is a middle grade, but people say that it's a lot like Harry Potter and I can definitely see those aspects of it. Like just reading this has made me feel like really happy and it's just been a great time. I think I was on page 76. So right here, I was that far and then I read that much this morning. I actually went to Barnes and Noble on Sunday. Today is Wednesday to get the second book because I had started reading it and they had one copy and it was in hardcover, but the spine had like a rip on it and I didn't want to spend 15 bucks on a book when it's not in the best condition. I did buy The Wicked King and On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. Yeah, I'll show you guys the snow in a little bit. It's raining right now, but goals today for reading. Hopefully I'll finish this book and maybe start another one. <laughs> my government notes so I finished those then I started working on like because I wanted to like write my friends notes for like Valentine's Day and stuff because I thought that would be really cute and sweet and I appreciate them so I want to like do something nice for them and then I found that I had some of these extra little name tags so I decided to make like little bookmarks using like washi tape and like my calligraphy pens and stuff. I made them basically all the same except for like there's like a few differences but I think they turned out really cute and I'm really happy with these because I was originally just going to write them like a note using these things which are just envelopes and cardstock that look like this design on like each of them and I thought that would have been cute but then I decided this was a lot better. Here's my best friend Kendall's. See, so I did washi tape. I did them basically all the same. There's their name. And then on the back, I wrote them a note. It's super simple. It took me like 45, 50 minutes to do these, but I'm really happy with how they turned out. And I really hope that they all like them. We don't have a snow day tomorrow. I'm going to give them, I'm going to give it to them tomorrow on Valentine's Day. And they can use it for bookmarks or whatever the heck they want to. <laughs> um, so yeah, I finally got those done. I've been meaning to get those done. So that's another check off my list. I need to start studying for statistics right now. I hate math. Like, I do not like math. I used to be so good at it. It was no problem for me. I actually enjoyed it. Um, currently it's 
pouring rain. My arm is getting tired, so I'm resting it right here. <laughs> it's currently pouring rain. I hope that the snow doesn't melt. There is like a lot of snow, so I don't know how fast it would take to melt. So I think it was after I finished my GovNotes. I stopped in the middle of a chapter, so I decided to finish up the chapter. So I stopped on page like 206-ish, and then I stopped on page 232 of nevermore so i decided to reward myself with finishing those notes because i was originally planning on finishing them tomorrow but i had time today so i finished those and then i got right to work on these little bookmark name tags whatever decorations whatever they want i don't know i mean for them to be bookmarks because like majority of the people that i did these for we talk about actually all of these people that i made these for we talk about books all the time. I might read another chapter of Nevermore. I am that far. So I'm on page, I don't know if I said this, but I'm on to page 232. It's really good so far. I'm really happy with it. It's definitely a feel-good story. Like, obviously, like, I feel so bad for Morgan Crow and just how the amount of crap that she has to deal with and has to deal with like feeling like everything's her fault and no one loves her or anything hurts me so much but i do love this story it's so magical excited to see where it goes i really want to learn more about this world i've learned kind of a lot about it but like not everything because you're following Morgan Crow, who doesn't know anything about this world. Like, this world is brand new to her, which I think is really cool because you get to find out stuff as she finds out things. And it's just really fun. I really like Morgan. She's a good character to follow. So I really love it. And I'm going to go read a chapter more of this or so and then study. I have literally done nothing. Um... <laughs> I made another one of those little um, bookmark things for my sister. I just found out that my stats test is being postponed because of you no know, school and stuff like that. And apparently they don't even know if we're going to be able to go back to school tomorrow. I guess we'll see. But I think I'm going to read her a little bit and then do whatever the heck else I need to do. Also, I don't know what to read after I read this. Because I don't have the second book. And I, like, my car would not make it through the snow. Also, I don't even know if Barnes & Noble has power right now. So, I need to figure out what I should read next. I just bought The Wicked King and On the Come Up. I, which I told you guys about earlier. I'll show you the books right now. Um, so, I have The Wicked King right here. I got the Barnes & Noble edition of it. Because I have the Barnes & Noble edition of The Cruel Prince right there. You can kind of see it. And I honestly love this black edition of The Wicked King so much more. And I was really surprised with how small it is. Like, this is not a big book at all. Like, compared to The Cruel Prince. But I honestly love this cover so much. I love the black. I feel like it makes it more, like, haunting and really cool and like goes along with the story and then I have on the come up which I've been wanting for so long I've been waiting for it to come out because Angie Thomas wrote the hate you give and I read that book right when it came out I don't think it came out last year I think it came out maybe 2017 like at the beginning of it I absolutely loved it I think it was one of my favorite books at least it should have been if I didn't mention it and I'm just really excited to read this one I haven't really heard too much about it I'm gonna go read more of Nevermore it is currently 6:30. I was facing on my best friend for the past like hour and a half so I got like 30 pages of reading done maybe I'm now on page page 244 just kidding i think i got like 10 pages done yes who doesn't have school tomorrow so i'm gonna be taking this vlog back and into the next day as well currently i just put on hairspray i'm gonna edit some videos that i filmed a while ago and haven't had time to edit that's my night for you i'll update you guys if i like take a break and read more maybe i'm gonna try to finish this tonight
just finished Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow. That was so good. Oh my gosh. I need the next one. I want to know what happens. Oh my goodness. It didn't leave off on a cliffhanger. And so I do think that this could be just like a standalone if they wanted to. But like so much more is happening and... There are some things left unsolved. I'm just really, really excited. There's also so many funny puns and just so many funny scenes. Jupiter North is one of my favorite characters now. He's so funny, and but he's also so caring and I just, he's such a quirky little guy. I loved it so much. I think it's definitely one of my favorite books of this year. It's definitely a lot like Harry Potter. So if you like Harry Potter, read this because it's so good it's also very unique so i definitely recommend it it's so good i need the next one right now oh my gosh this is definitely one of my favorite books now <gasps> oh i wish i had this when i was a kid so i'll see you guys in the morning if i decide to vlog tomorrow not sure <laughs> Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. I don't know when this vlog's going up, so it could be well past Valentine's Day, but as of right now, it's Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. I don't really own too, too much pink, even though I think it's a pretty color. I like pale pink and stuff like that, but I found this scarf. It's kind of itchy, and also it's a weird length because it's an infinity scarf, and if I doubled it, it'd literally just be like up here. I have no plans for today, except I might go to my dad's house house because the snow has melted it's so foggy outside it's kind of crazy we never get fog either so this is just weird it feels like we're in some other city or something i still haven't picked out a book to read because i finished nevermore last night like i told you guys and i'm not sure what else i should read but so far this morning i made a smoothie and a bagel and it's like 940 ish so i still have the wicked king to read because i haven't read that yet started reading furyborn like you could literally see my bookmark in it and it was okay it wasn't really impressing me that much it felt kind of like every other fantasy book and it wasn't really that unique but like maybe it will be like once i learn more about it i want to read hank green's new books because i've heard good things and i love hank green and john green they're so amazing i don't know if i'm in the mood for that like i really want to be in the mood for it because otherwise i might not like it like as much five feet apart because this is becoming a movie this year this cover is stunning this is definitely one of my favorite covers i didn't know this was a book until i saw the trailer so <laughs> that's kind of sad but also you know what i just thought it's valentine's day Sh should i read this instead then read that because it's valentine's day i honestly don't know if this book's sad or not i feel like i could finish this today but also i need to like do some homework and stuff because we're on snow day number two and then we just have friday i guess and then we go on our break also i had an idea for a photo i want to take so i might do that that way i could post it today because it's valentine's day theme okay i just drew a heart on my wrist um with my tombow i don't know if this is safe but we did it so there it is <laughs> hi you can't even see the books but it's fine <laughs> I might have dance team today and I don't even know if I can get my car out of the driveway. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm kind of hoping I don't have it because I don't really want to <laughs> go and try to drive on the s in the snow because I've never done that before. I started reading this though. I read like two pages. Let's see. I am on page four and it starts on page. Oh, it starts on page one. So I've read four pages. So I can't really tell you like what I think about it right now because literally nothing's happening. So. so it turns out we might not have rehearsals today, but that means that we basically have to live at school tomorrow if we even go to school tomorrow update time it's like 10 50. <laughs> i haven't read anything else i've just been like on my phone oh there's a cute little dog out for a walk i don't have a stats test tomorrow thankfully so i don't have to study for that but i still don't know about literally anything else i don't even know if we're gonna have school tomorrow because there's been so many issues with the power and heating and literally everything and apparently 
there's like a ton of trees that have fallen down in our school so i don't know what's gonna happen i think i might read for a little bit and maybe et finish editing the video i was editing last night because it's it's like a book collection kind of gives you a little hint Plus, I think it'll be out already. It's my ebook collection, which I didn't know literally anything about any of the books there except for maybe one or two. So I'm basically just showing you the books that I have and that I probably will not read. But I mean, they're on there just in case I ever feel like I should or I feel like I want to or if I just want to read something. So I have those on there. Uh, yeah, and I thought that would be fun to show you guys because I've actually been wanting to do that for a while Hi guys, so it is currently like 12.02, 12.03 And I've been reading five feet apart. I know I'm updating like a lot today, but like I don't I don't have anything else to do and I like talking to you guys. I'm not really liking it to be honest like I like how it's it's bringing awareness to cystic fibrosis and I think that's amazing and I love that and I know people with it. The main character, Stella, well, it switches points of view between Stella and Will and Stella is very, she acts very excited all the time. Like there's always an exclamation point and it just seems forced. And I don't know if the author is trying to make it seem forced, like she's putting on an act in front of everyone saying she's okay, but she's really not. I don't know. Also, she seemed to just, she took one look at Will and hated him and he hadn't done anything. And then once they were talking, she was being really standoffish and kind of rude. And of course, Will was acting all cocky, but she started it, so I don't know. I'm not really enjoying it that much, but I am only 49 pages in, so we'll see. I thought it was really cool that Stella actually has a YouTube channel about bringing awareness to Sia. I'll probably finish it and see if it gets better because I'm only 49 pages in. I was thinking about actually filming a video about like my favorite bookish couples or something along those lines, and I don't think I'd be able to get it up in time for today but so it is currently 4 15 my grandma is just now leaving she just left literally just right this second she came and visited it turns out we have another snow day tomorrow um i read a lot more of five feet apart i'm actually like really far in i'm on page 202 and there's only like 276 so i have about like 70 something pages so i'm definitely gonna finish this today it's okay. I definitely feel like it could have developed a lot more. I'm warming up to them and stuff like that, but I, I feel like it's just like a very stereotypical YA book, like from like way back in the early days. It's definitely not one of my favorite romances, but it's a quick read. So if you're looking for like a quick read that is like really easy to read and not much completely happens, this is a good one. I was really hoping to love it a lot more. I don't know what's gonna happen at all and we're approaching the end very quickly and I don't know how this is gonna wrap up at all. But I think I'm gonna continue on reading. I don't have to worry about homework or anything because we have another snow day. I can worry about it later. <laughs> I just finished Five Feet Apart. For me at least, it got better. But I do think that like the beginning could have had more development and their whole relationship could have had more development. I think I'd still rate it three stars. So we'll see if I like the movie better or if I like the book better. I don't really feel like reading another romance because I don't read that much romance. My arm's getting tired. So we're going with this downward angle that look makes my head look small and my body look huge. And maybe I'll start Sadie now because that's like staring at me from my bookshelf. <laughs> Uh, I need to go update Goodreads now. Oh, I also could read The Wicked King so I don't forget like everything from The Cruel Prince that happened. I wait too long. I forget everything about the first book even though I loved it so much. And yeah, I don't really have anything else to update you guys on. Sorry, this is really boring. I'm literally just staying at my house but that's mostly because yesterday I literally could not leave my house. And then today I just don't have anything to do. Tomorrow I have dance though. Hey guys, so it is now seven o'clock and I just got to my dad's house and I have a book unboxing for you guys. It's a book for school, but I thought it would still be fun to unbox it for you guys. So here we go. I don't really have anything to prop you guys on. So you guys are just gonna have to deal with this really bad angle. 
Ooh, <gasps> it has deckled pages and it's a paperback. Kind of damage. I got this for school. It's the story of Edgar Sawtell. That's his name. I don't even want to try to pronounce that, but this is the book. I have absolutely no idea what this is about, but it's for extra credit. Apparently it's supposed to connect to Hamlet somehow, and I'm going to have to start reading this soon as well. Also, I did not tell you guys. I started Sadie before I came here and I'm on page 40. It's pretty good so far. I didn't know that our main character Sadie had a stutter and I think that's really interesting and I, you never read books with people that have stutters and stuff like that. I'm really excited to see where this goes. It's told in a podcast form and also a story following Sadie and it reminds me of um, that podcast Serial. If you guys haven't listened to it, go listen to it because it's really, really good and really like captivating. Isn't that cool? As of right now, 40 pages in, there are trigger warnings for death, murder, abuse like sexual abuse substance abuse and all of that so just warning you now i'm literally 40 pages in and that's how many trigger warnings there are so be careful when you read this book or if you listen to that podcast because there's some really really heavy topics so please just be careful and take care of yourselves anyways i'm gonna go read this book and i'll see y'all later <laughs> Hey guys, so it is the next day. Snow day number three, it was fine. <laughs> I look like an egg right now because I just had a halftime performance and we have to do the butt part and I'm here to update you guys on Sadie by Courtney Summers. I read a lot of Sadie today. I'm absolutely loving it. So my friend who introduced me to the Serial podcast, I told her about this book tonight because she's also on dance team with me and she is so excited to read it. Also, her mom loves reading too and loves reading all the books that I do. So I recommended them both a ton of books to read and I also showed them Sadie and they're both like super excited about it. Currently, I am 207 in pages in. I'm pretty far. <gasps> I wonder if I can finish it tonight, but I feel like it might scare me. <laughs> and I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. But you know what? We're probably gonna do it anyways. Also, sorry if I keep changing these angles. My arm is getting really tired. I am, I have literally no arm strength. Yeah, I can't get over how similar it is to cereal. Like, that was my light in my bathroom shutting off. It's on a timer, sorry. If that scared you guys or something, or if you thought there was a ghost in here. Yeah, I need to get all this makeup off. But my lips match the cover. Here comes the little puppers. What are you doing, me? What are you doing? Hi! <laughs> Can you hear her? <coughs> oh, tell me all about it. Tell me all about it, Minnie. You look crazy right now. She has her little avocado. <laughs> She's so cute. So I'm just gonna go make myself something to eat and take a shower, take this makeup off, and I'm gonna go read. And I don't know what order that's exactly going to be in, so... <laughs> um, so, it's like 10 o'clock. Um, I ate dinner. I, uh, as you can see, I haven't taken a shower yet or even taken this makeup off because I started reading Sadie and I couldn't put it down. And I just now finished it. This was crazy. It ends in such a big cliffhanger. So you basically never get to know what happened. I guess is real life. I cannot stress this enough. If you guys, like you guys need to look into this because there are definite trigger warnings. This is a very, very like heavy and dark book. Thing is like, this stuff happens in real life and it just fucking, it, it's awful that it like i i don't even i don't even want to imagine it but it happens really really like draining book i need a happy book now <laughs> Wow, I'm really glad that I read it though. It was really like captivating and took you along for a ride. And I, like it took you so many twists and turns. Sometimes you didn't know what was happening and you wouldn't find out. Majority of the time, you would know what's going on before the people in the podcast knew. But then there were some moments where you 
don't know what happens because Sadie doesn't talk about it afterwards and you have to figure out later what happens because it just kind of is never mentioned again by her and so you have absolutely no idea what happens until the podcast figures it out so you're like following these multiple storylines and like figuring things out before one person does or figuring things out afterwards and following along with the podcast it's just a wild ride and it's very 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 heavy and dark 4.5 out of 5 stars we need to figure out what we're gonna read next because it's like 10 o'clock but I kind of want to pick it maybe I'll pick it out with you guys and then end the vlog I've read like all of the happy books on my show so that's this reading vlog of me documenting my snow days and just random crap that's happened I hope you guys enjoyed this I don't really know how much I filmed But I guess we'll figure it out. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next video coming to you sometime soon. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye.